Good evening, everybody. This is a quick video that you can use as an introduction to this new way of thinking of the Holy Scripture of Quran. People who look at who would look at the translation of Quran to English or any other language will find that the translation is quite primitive and can be even childish in its meanings. And this is really caused by a major problem related to the fact that words in Quran, in Arabic, are used interchangeably. So you might find five or seven words that have exactly the same meaning. And this really led to major problem with accuracy and problems in, in meanings and translation or uh, understanding of the Holy Scripture. This understanding of the Holy Scripture is 1200 years old and it hasn't been revised, it has not been revised for all that time. This is why whoever reads the translation, because the translation is based on the understanding and the understanding is 1200 years old, so whoever reads the translation will find that it's actually quite primitive. The way, the new way of looking at the Holy Scripture of Quran is based on overcoming this problem by making a very clear definitive meaning for each word and not actually accepting that two words would have the same meaning. So we are trying to find the definitive right meaning of each word in, in Quran in a way that doesn't actually equal any other word in Quran. Now you might have different words which are near to each other with in their meanings or they might overlap in their meaning but they cannot be exactly the same this is first most important rule in our new understanding of the holy scripture the second rule is that there is no redundancy in quran this means that each word each word in the holy scripture is there for a reason and it's not in vain and the third very important rule is that Quran, the Holy Scripture, is valid for all times and places. So it's actually, it can be used in this time and inshallah it also will be used in 200 years, 300 years ahead. To give an example of why this old, old, old problem of looking at different words as having the same meaning can give you disastrous understandings and disastrous result is looking at the uh, meaning of the word kafir. Meaning of the word kafir in our mind at the moment it means that it is an infidel or a non-believer. But in actual fact if we look at Quran and the Holy Scripture we will find that the word kafir means exactly an enemy, a person who is an enemy of you. So when you have instructions from the Holy Scriptures in the Holy Scripture to find some to fight somebody who is called kafir in actual fact it's the meaning of it is that you're going to fight your enemy you're not going to fight an unbeliever this this differentiation which which is a fine differentiation is not found in any of the old interpretation of, of Quran and as a result is also not found in the translation of Quran and this is why when whoever would read the translation we have in our hands English translation or, or any other language translation will find that it's quite primitive and it is absolutely totally outdated thank you very much this is only an introductory uh, video and will we'll hopefully will will we'll make few videos on this uh, in the coming future